This is actually pretty cool. It's a Tupajin with cassette. I heard they only made one batch because children began to herald them as the one true god. Let's do this. <laughs> Most importantly, we can reuse the your view as channel map. <laughs> Welcome to the official tour for Duper Genetics. We'd like to dispel the rumors of being an evil company and take you on a wonder-filled trip that in no way will cause you any injury. Unless, of course, you are spying for the Ethics Union, in which case we are not responsible for your painful, fatal accident. Emphasis on accident for all you lawyers out there. Hola! Please step onto the red dot at the end of the hall when you are ready. Right. 
too high up. I can't reach it. If only I was a Nudu Hand mutant. There's probably something else I could use. I probably should leave it just in case I start a fire. <laughs> What's that you're wearing? A dude dread? I must say I'm impressed. Hmm. My skin feels like it's on fire. Congratulations! You made it to the red dot without dying. You are not ethics union scum. This concludes our tour of the Duper Genetics facility. As a closing note, those cheap bastards couldn't pay for any more voiceover. How am I supposed to live on these terrible wages? I'm taking you down with me, Duper Genetics. You hear me? This whole place is going to explode any second! Get away from me! Thank you again for attending the Duper Genetics Tour. Have a nice day. Ugh, weird. Feels like I've been here before. I swear to God, if you do any weird stuff, I'm going to be so upset with you. I'm not sure how effective the sun treatment is on buttons, but I'm going to do it. My, thank god that is over. I was actually a raver one time in my life. Then I was in a fatal shuffling accident. Ten people died that day. That was the day I hanged up my fat pants. <laughs> I used to tease an elegant with one of these. Then it got a restraining order against me.
It's me, John 3DS again. Oh god, thank god you called. Is the station still going to explode? Oh, yeah, about that. I kinda made that up just so I could have a few birds over and have some privacy. You're always at home, mate, and AI needs some privacy. Her heart feelings, bear dog. Ugh, I'm going to unplug you for at least a month next time I see you. Yeah, fair enough. Can you uh, help me get away from wherever I am? Yeah. Looks like I'm on my own again. This place ain't so bad. Save for the underlying feeling of doom and extreme anxiety about why someone would teleport me through space and time only to be imprisoned by a talking water cooler. The fog on your goggles really brings out your eyebrows. Do you get them threaded? Yeah, I noticed. Hello? Welcome to Cuppy Cupcakes. We put the eggs in cupcakes. Implying that you ache because you ate so much because it was so good. Not because you got food poisoning. Are these gluten-free and vegan? Yes, most definitely. We make sure they have room to flap their wings and perch. Isn't that... Uh, ch chickens? Why the cupcake avatar? A nondescript gas mask wearing humanoid figure isn't exactly great for sales. Good point. I also get way more matches on online dating sites this way. Although when they find out I'm not a cupcake, it's a bit of a problem. We usually find a middle ground though. Why the hazmat gear? Pretty sure we're below the lethal dose in here. Well, you see, I lived in the radioactive wasteland for so long my body got accustomed to radiation. Now, when I don't get it and breathe fresh air, my body decides to shut down. I'm breathing in pure plutonium now. Oh, I love the smell of splitting atoms any time of day. Can you uh, tell me anything about this place? Sure, it's the Dupa Genetics main facility. They make prodigy children here, as well as other useful products. I have a deal with the CEO that I can set up shop here as long as I provide him with free cupcakes. Although he's dead now and all the employees are gone. But I have coupons. Believe in the coupon. Do you get much business here or...? Oh, you have no idea. Office workers' lack of self-control really helps the cupcake business. I just replied to 10 emails, I deserve this. I'll have one more cupcake and start my diet. Then everyone lost their jobs and I lost a lot of customers. But I've got coupons and memberships now. They will come. Don't you still need uh, customers for that to be effective? Don't you ever speak ill of coupons again. I would like to purchase a cupcake, please. Sure. Do you have cash, membership, or a coupon? No, I, I don't think so. No cupcake for you. See ya. This isn't a cupcake library. Hmm. Maybe I should start a cupcake library. Man, I totally want the prodigy child now. Dibs on the wizard bit. The more I think about it, it would be hand. Man, dibs on the wit. Hello, protege child hologram. I am shocked and appalled. This is the first elevator I've been in which doesn't have the smooth, crisp smell of urine. Someone in management is 
clearly dropping the ball. Warning! Any non-maintenance personnel attempting repairs will be bitch slapped if they do not keep it cool. I'd like to avoid any bitch slapping uh, while the option is there. Also, if this is Bob, the maintenance man, for God's sake, stop forgetting your maintenance code! Write down the elevator button pressing sequence somewhere. If you're going to write it somewhere nearby, like last time, write it in riddle form so others can't use it. I am on that level already. I should go to the... You can't speak that kind of smack to me. Just because you're doing it telepathically doesn't mean it's not bad manners. You too, Mr. Yum Yums. this again. The names aren't demeaning. They're cute. Just because you're all high and mighty consulting me on corporate sabotage and money laundering, you think you're too good for the name Mr. Mittens? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Nothing else to say. Uh, hello? Oh, what? Paradigm? We weren't going to liberate you till like four o'clock. Jesus, rollerblading Christ. I had the most delicious bread prepared for lunch. I woke up early for that shit, packed little Tupperware boxes. Now you're telling me I have to wait? Yeah, nice one, Mr. Paradigm. If you weren't the key to taking down Duba genetics, you'd be done. Done, Paradigm, done. No one messes with my spread. Uh, sorry for liberating myself. Done. Uh, sorry, I just take my spreads really seriously. It gets the best of me sometimes. What the hell is going on? I like your hat. Thanks, I got it last week. It's probably my favorite now. As much as I like compliments, I feel like we have more pressing things to talk about. Uh, who are you? I'm the leader of the rebel group Baxt. What does that stand for? People against generally shitty things. Finally, something I can get behind. Are you hiding anything under that jacket? Are you mutated too? Nah, I just keep all my snacks under here. Super practical. I'm apparently the key to taking down dupla genetics? Yes, you're the all-important faulty prodigy child. Also, apparently, your innards hold the key to world domination. Whoa, I'm a faulty prodigy child? That's a pretty big reveal. I feel like it should have been more dramatic or heartfelt. You know, the fact I was born for commercial gain in the lab and now they want to dissect me? I pretty much knew that already, but uh, you didn't know that. You're stone cold. Yeah, well, I'm terrible at this uh, touchy-feely stuff. Last time someone cried in front of me, I just pat them on the head. Anyway, because of this, the rebel committee and my telepathic kitties recommended I commission a children's book to help explain it to you. Also because we weren't sure if the deformations affected your brain. Eh, read this first, and I'll tell you how to get out of this mess. Klaus was a big businessman with no ethics who owned the company named Dupa Genetics. He set up head office in Eastern Europe to save money and avoid an ethics law holdup. He was big Mr. Grumpy Face, hating almost everyone and every place. But he did love glam metal music and professional wrestling magic. He thought everyone was stupid for not liking both. That made him mad and sad, so he made an oath. To take over the world so everyone had to listen to glam and watch professional wrestling on every program. 
He started by inventing the fully customizable Prodigy Child, perfect for rich parents whose biological children are wild, no longer passing their name to their biological shame. The Prodigies eventually inherit their power and wealth after their parents experience a bit of bad health. Little did they know, Klaus still had power over them to help execute his plan of wrestling and glam mayhem. Meanwhile, he made Olaf the Sloth a living candy machine. Vomiting various candy every half an hour was his routine. Olaf loved Klaus. Klaus did not. Constant candy was the only thing he sought. Klaus later died of type 2 diabetes from all the candy. This made Olaf very sad and angry. Olaf made a vow on his deathbed that he will continue his legacy instead. The only problem now that after 12 years, the prodigies suddenly pursue creative art careers. A lot of the time they do performing arts instead of business plans and pie charts. But there was one mutated child facing many tragedies. Not affected, he kept making commercial electro melodies. Now Olaf wants to give Paradigm an autopsy, the key to fixing the defunct prodigy child army, continuing Klaas's plans to only make him happy. I'm done. I feel like I want all my news relayed to me via rhyme now. You can keep it for future reference. Did it make sense to you? While slightly demeaning, yes. Yeah, we weren't sure how smart you were, especially after a few months of observation. So we winged it. You beat into Hot Pocket straight out the oven every time. Hey, I'm a Hot Pocket athlete in training. It takes serious commitment. Also, Observation? I'm, uh, not going to even ask. So now what? Basically, we need to get rid of Olaf. Well, not we, mostly you. Uh, do we really have to? I mean, the whole world domination thing is a pretty big downside, I guess. Also, the part where I'm dissected for scientific purposes is not that great. But he seems like a big cutie. I just wanna... Put him in a pram and pretend he is my baby. That's true. He is pretty adorbs. Not that keen on listening to glam metal for the rest of my life, though. Sometimes you need that doof doof or oons oons. It won't be that bad. Honestly, I would be banging in a skin tight leopard print. Please do not commit this sin against humanity. So, anyway, this floating guy here? is the only person who knows how to get rid of him. It can talk? That's the problem. The dumb asshole tried to escape when I came here to ask him. The teleportation went wrong and ported his limbs around the facility. What you need to do now is collect said body parts, then put them all in the machine. I'll handle it from there. Good luck. Oh, Mr. Mitten says don't mess it up, or he will passive aggressively push stuff off your desk. I'll keep that in mind. Also, I took the restrictions off the elevator now. We put them on because of the 80% failure rate. You should be fine, though. You've reaped enough bad karma, I think. Just look at your face. Uh, thanks. Now to find the rest of his body. If I take one mug, it's gonna make the others jealous. I can't have that weighing on my conscience. Coffee mugs are the most abused of all mugs. They need a union or something. Fight for your rights, mugs. Bonsai trees are like the little people of the tree world. All right, let's see. 
uh, I'm just going to stand uh, over there now. Hello, floating torso. Hey, uh, can you save me the trouble of collecting your limbs and tell me Olaf's weakness? Fine then, be that way. Just because you don't have a mouth doesn't mean you can't talk to me. Telepathy exists, you know. Scientists are hot. You're goddamn right. Nothing makes me swoon like women who are masters of quantum mechanics. With them, you'll get lucky and get rejected simultaneously. Thank you for calling maintenance. Someone will be ready to help in 91. Also, if this for God's sake, right? If you're going right it. Also, for God's right? If you're going right it. Shooting mode at least and put suppress again. I think it's time to put in that code. You know, I got this bright idea. I think you should put Regular in that code. Mode. Troubleshooting, please and press again to. I think it's time Wrong to put code. in that code. You know, I got this bright idea. I think Regular you should put in. Troubleshooting mode, please and put suppress again to. I think it's time to put in that code. You know, I got Wrong this bright code. idea. I think you should put in that code. Skibbity bop, bitty bop bop, put in that, put in that, put that code. Regular. Dupa Genetics maintenance man for many faithful years. His personal hygiene was terrible, the facility's hygiene was acceptable. Until he was sadly taken away from us, 4 6 2026. It was Take Your Pet to Work Day, and Artyom, a former employee, brought in his bear, which took countless employees' lives, including everyone's favorite, Billy. Due to HR cutbacks, we present to you this bobblehead of Billy to forever honor his life here at Dupa Genetics. On a side note, Artyom's bear now works in upper management. Signed, Dupa Genetics CEO Ulof. Heh, <laughs> neat. I want one. I will use this to make an informed decision about whether Star Battles or Star Conquest is better. Well, whichever one can fill up my room with enough merch, rendering me undateable. Laser sword on the streets, Darth Vooder in the sheets. Wow, some sci-fi fanboys, it's like a life it
Breadsticks will not help me on my quest, unless I want to throw an average party with people I don't even like. Can I have this? The shield stays. I use it as a trendy plate for my cheese platters. Hey, uh, do you mind if I take this? Frankly, I don't do much lancing these days. Oh, uh, yes. It's enchanted, too. His name is Larry Lancy. Just ask him nicely and you can summon or unsummon him. Larry Lancy? Keen to ride with me? Yes, let us unite and bring pain and suffering to our enemies. And then drink some cold brewskis over their corpses. Pretty flowers. Yes, but they are cursed. Anything that touches them shrinks. Items and people wouldn't recommend. Noted. I'm not sure what I was expecting. Oh, damn it, you're an idiot. I'm only doing this for you once. Vanguardium Imbacillus. It opens some other way. Then Guardium Imbecilius. Can I take this? No. I paid full retail price for it. I need to use it for a while to justify it. Nice. I can use this with my Dupagin. Thank you.